Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're going to be the yellow player Stone Down. And today's a good day. We have a brand new map pack at the time of recording. By the time this video is out, it might be a little bit later. But brand new map pack, Dune Maps. Now, there's five maps in this map pack. Four of them are very small, but this one is a decent size. So I very much wanted to try this map, and we're going to try it right now. My first look at the brand new Dune Maps. We are playing on Siege Tabor. I don't know how to pronounce that. I mean, I'm not a, a big fan of the Dune series. Not that I'm not a fan. I just never really watched them. Uh, alliances are on. We're playing Fixed World Dom on this map. Medium AI. Alliances are on. No fog, no blizzards, no portals. We're going to raw dog this map to get a feel for it. Okay, pink's knocking this out. Blue wants an alliance. Where are the bonuses? Is that That's a bonus. It's a plus two. Living Quarters is a 2. That's where I have troops. So I should get Living Quarters plus 2 on the first turn. I actually could probably 2-point Communal Area and Living Quarters on the first turn. Right? I get... Uh, if I Maybe I can pull that off. We'll see what White does. Yeah, I, I think I can, right? And Blue wants Community Loop for the plus 5. Interesting. Okay. Clifford the Dandy wants an Alliance. I really hope White doesn't add here and take this. I think he will. Actually. So where's... Oh, he can also... So this side is a plus two. This is kind of cool connections. Room of the Dead here is a plus two. There's so many little bonuses that you can, like, take a couple of them. This is a two point on two plus twos. This is uh, Room of the Dead and Dead Gallery that you can two point, I guess, these plus twos. Uh, Council Gallery is a three point. Wide Gallery. These middle ones are fives. Resident Hall is a four. It'll reach around here. Maybe I come in and I try to take this two and this four together. Okay, purple takes this plus two. The Cistern of Souls three here. Maybe I can do a reach around here and just take this. Come off this three. I'd have to, well, I need to add three here to hit a six on two. That guarantees this bonus. I think white's going to take this, so I want to be friends with him. Offer him an alliance. No, he's doing this. Does he try two bonuses? No! Okay. Oh, sorry. He's over here. Yeah, I'm like, where do these troops go? This map, ah. I actually can't zoom out any further than this. White is a bonus stealer. So I wonder if I cannot trust him to be here. I think I double dip on this. So I go... Three on here. And then I go like this. I try the five on two and a three on one. Let's try. And then as if. Work. As if I lose a 91% roll to start. Okay, well. And I get bad dice there. Can this at least go up and fit in? And then I will try to uh, maybe bring this three out. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Red says well played. I guess he wants this bonus. Red got goinked in his bonus. Dude, that is absolutely horrendous luck, man. It is what it is. This dude also rolled a 6v3 and lost, like I lost my 5v2. So bad dice for pink, and he tried to break purple. Purple's going to now go into him. World Dom, man. World Dom fixed. Anything goes. Give Blue a thumbs up. Oh, I can't believe that. That sucks so bad. I should have both of these bonuses. That was a 91% roll. Very unfortunate, right? And then if, like, how often do you see a 5v2 roll and they just get perfect dice and then they come in with their four stack? I three on one up. I come down here. Then I have like a, a four here, a two here, right? Imagine I had this bonus with a three on dome room or a four on dome room and then I still had a two on dome entrance. Three, two, four, two right here and I still had all this here. Well, this two actually I would have brought here. I would have had a four here and then a four, two here. I would have been so strong. Okay, Red actually just thumbs up me and doesn't do anything other than that. He's gonna... He wants to backdoor White because he's pissed at White. Okay. I have to... And if I had both these bonuses, I could actually fight Blue here. 
and not be too concerned. But if I, I'm gonna take damage from Blue if I fight him. Blue. Come on, three on one to the right. That would ah. And it was like last second I saw like accept the alliance and send them to just send this three on one in. Oh, that would have been so. Wait, purple doesn't even care that pink just slammed him to take his bonus down here. He does this instead. Pink is going to destroy you, dude. He just tried to destroy you. He's going to do it for sure this turn. That's very weird. Okay, so purple's inexperienced. White raw dogs, and he's at war with red. Pink and purple are going to fight, and then I'm just going to have to deal with blue. Blue's going to get very strong in the middle of the board. Or I can have a good relationship with blue. On 17 troops, I'm going to get five this turn. Like, I get five this turn and I have to fight blue. It'll put me 22 troops to his 22. Yeah, purple just gets destroyed immediately. Yeah, of course. And red is sad about white destroying blue. Or purple, sorry. If I don't break blue and he gets five troops, I might just be game over for me or what? I mean, blue's my ally. Maybe I can play friendly allies with him. He is in the middle of the board. Other people will probably want to break him with their trades. We are playing fixed. So maybe I can uh, have some sort of friendly thing with blue. I, I could break him right now and probably still hold my plus two. Everybody trades before me. I started with a cavalry card. Could alternatively go for this bonus. For, uh, this is not good. I could go for the four. I get enough troops. No, six on three is not enough. I could start working on this and bring this three in. He says attack pink. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that to be... Uh, Give him a thumbs up and pink it and hit pink. Give him a heart, yeah. I'm okay with that actually. And I'll pull this back because I'm gonna lose that anyways. I actually don't, okay, blue asked me to do something in the alliances and then I did it. So I actually feel good that he might let me hold that. Right, I do want a good relationship with blue. Uh, pink should have, yeah, he's doing some weird. Okay, the pathing in here is weird actually. I could actually see this map in a world on progressive kind of environment. And maybe we've seen it by now, by the time this video releases. But this is my very first look at this map right now. And I'm gonna probably, at the this is week nine of KPO during while I'm recording this. I'm gonna test this and see if maybe we use it in round 11 or 12. We'll see. But I guess it would be round 12. Very fun looking map. I'm hoping he rolls, yeah, something that's not me. Purple's on, or, or blue's on 30 troops. Very strong with a plus five, but I'm now holding two plus two, so I'm getting four. And I have a good relationship with him, so maybe I can take this part, or maybe I don't. Maybe I chill. Pink's gonna take this outer, uh, outer thing, because purple doesn't know what he's doing. He's probably, he, he's still here. I'm like, he's probably quit, but no. White is going for this. Red's going for this. This is a three. This is a two. Very weird connections. This is actually kind of a neat map. Imagine like some kind of like progressive 70% or something on this is what I'm picturing. Everybody tries to like fight and posture for their bonuses and then they go for the 70%, maybe open unstable portals up, go for an elimination in the 70%. I, I, I could see this being a fun map to use in tournaments. I could. It's got enough territories. I'm not quite sure the number of territories on it, but something in the 50 to 60 range is uh, generally pretty good. The other four maps for this are, uh, I believe, all under 39 territories. So they're all smaller than Classic, except this one. This is a decent size. Yeah, I'm not surprised that Purple actually quit, and uh, Rage quit, swiped his, uh, his thing off, right? Would not be shocked at all if Purple is gone, because... Uh, Pink tried to break him, and then he just retook, didn't even break Pink, and then White broke him. If White didn't break him, Pink would have. What's he asking? He's sending me a heart. I don't know what he was asking. Wish I knew. I'd love to see somebody go into him. 
Red could have got him, but he didn't. So we've got Abby Schlott from uh, Germany. White takes this bonus now. General Johal from, I think, Serbia. Clifford the Dandy from... That's Greece, right? I'm not I'm not high. Uh, Duff Tala from the United States. They bought it, though. And Jaren Evil, uh, 93 from Hungary. I'm hungry. So I get seven. What is Blue asking of me? I want to keep a bunch of troops not threatening him. I also have to worry about other people. Blue's not expanding to take more bonuses either. So I don't want to over greed taking this bonus and then make, make Blue feel like he has to hit me. Because if he hits all three of my bonuses after I take that bonus, I'm in some trouble. Do this, this, and uh, this seven. Over. Maybe I'll bring the seven out. But I'll leave a two behind. Because I don't want to look like I know exactly what I'm doing. I kind of want to make some moves, like... And then give Blue a thumbs up. And then, uh... I'm out of his way if he wants to hit pink. Maybe I can ask him to hit pink. I have no trade. I need a dude card. Send dudes, baby! No, he's just gonna buff his... He's really hunkered down on this one bonus. And I don't blame him. It's fixed. If nobody gets in here and messes him up and he just gets five over and over and over, he will get very strong in the middle of the map while everybody fights exterior. And then when it, when the, the fighting dies down, he'll have a lot of troops to just come out and win the game or get second, right? So he, okay, he also just, he added in here to stop red and then took this. So red's still on no bonuses. Maybe you trade and hit blue for that. Maybe you trade and knock this out. Like, what do you do? Trade and hit this five? He does trade. It is a big trade. I don't like that this three is here. Okay, he's going to raw dog white. White gets fed. All right, he's still pissed at red because red or, or at white because white raw dog him in this corner. Took his bonus nine on five. Oh my god, he's going all and good dice too. The sixteen on five was terrible dice because he didn't slider, but he got great dice on that one. Quick split too and a good split. Now blue's asking me to attack red. I already did your work in hitting pink. Maybe I will uh, hit this red three. White's down to 12 troops, but purple's gonna roll this five. Can I kill white for his three cards? Because this five dies. How much does it come out? Does it hit this one two? Makes it even easier. I'm assuming this connects. Oh, kitty corner is annoying. Can I wait? Can I kitty corner then? Purple's gonna have three cards. So white, if white has no trade, I take his four cards. Go up. I would love to see you go up. Come closer to me. It goes that way. So I need to add. Ugh, I don't think I can get him. I don't have a trade, right? I only get six or seven. I add five here, trust to 5v2, and then I add two here. I need eight on three, on one, on one, on one. Oh, man, I can't get him. I literally can't get him. It sucks so bad. I actually can't kill white here. Attack pink, attack white. Everybody's asking me to do all these weird things. I'm just gonna do, uh, gonna do this. Okay, good dice. And I'll bring my three back in. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to look noobish. I have a big trade, by the way, with plus twos in here. So blue may break me. And if he does, I will trade and punish him and we will go to, uh, we will fight to attrition, as the saying goes. But uh, I, I did blue's dirty work over here hitting pink. Yeah, 
Pink's gonna kill White. And then he's gonna hit Purple. I don't think he kills Purple. Well then. He gets a double trade off this. Yeah, Blue wanted me to hit Pink, but like, I hit Pink and then Pink gets that double kill and then Pink's ramming me with it. He might ram me with it anyways. He gets 10 troops total from that trade? No artillery? Double trade? I mean, okay. There's bad card combos between them. You get eight cards and you have zero artillery and zero wilds. That's unfortunate. He's going to take some bonuses. I hope blue adds onto this one and does some damage. Well, he doesn't get Chape Chape Chappelle Council, but he went, he'll get Romalo's Den, I guess. Yeah, he does. And then he's going to take this bonus too. No, I'll ask blue to hit pink. I'm going to... He's asked me to hit pink, and he's asked me to hit red. I did hit pink, and then I hit the red three. And then I'll give him a thumbs up. Yeah, he's going to hit pink out this side, not this side. So I actually have to fight pink to the death on the left, and then he fights red to the death on the right? Is that how we play? That's his chill, and he goes right back here with his stack to guard his bonus. Huh. <clears throat> all of his hits on pink there, all they did was kind of knock pink out of the right side, so pink can only fight me, right? Although pink can still go off this five unless yeah yeah. And then and then I'll tell him to attack red. Can I kill purple this turn? Purple's a bot. Now I would have to go. I can't get this five. Ask red to attack purple? If this five dies, I could kill purple. I, I, Cause like to kill purple I have to go through this six. Oh, he knocks pink out of the right side. Can I kill Pink? Imagine I killed Pink and took the whole left side. I can't do that. <clears throat> Alright, well, I hope Purple trades on this 5 and slams Red or something stupid because he didn't hit it out of there. I want him to feel it! Maybe it trades on here and breaks me? That'd also be bad. Could trade split between these... Okay, it's going to 5 on to me instead. Damn, I would really love to uh, kill Purple here because Purple's going to go on here. Blue's gonna get the purple kill, man. Blue's gonna get the purple kill. He's gonna trade kill purple trade. This is such a problem for me. Interesting passage. Pink accepts my alliance now. If 21 troops to deploy, I could do absolute mayhem to anybody. I could kill purple if I do the reach around, and maybe I should. So blue can't. And then do I punch pink after? Or I just punch pink now? This 20 doesn't connect down? Oh! I want to run out of time on my turn. I want to look like an idiot. This 20 doesn't connect down. I didn't know that. That's a huge thing to know. Give Pink a thumbs up. I didn't hit him. I wanted to, but I didn't. That doesn't connect. Oh my God, no way. Okay. Wait, that changes everything. I sweep pink and I can have a two-point guard. West Den or Chappelle Northwest and and Cistern Entry are a two-point hold on the entire left side here. Oh, he had that trade on three too. So if I, I was gonna raw dog him hard and he actually got to hold. Nine troops, okay, instead of like three. It's not that big of a deal. You got a plus two and a plus two and a plus two. Now he's also got territories with it though. Or he had two plus twos and territories. What did he have? Yeah, two plus twos and territories. Now he's got another one. Blue is trading. He's gonna kill purple. Red says good luck. 
If blue sends into red after the purple kill. Ah, uh, fuck. I gotta hope pink goes into him. Now, we're, we're gonna be playing psychological. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't kill purple. No fucking way. Major error. If purple has no trade on four, that's great for him. That was smart. But if purple has a trade on four, he's toast. If purple has a trade on four, it's going to add to this three and smack him in here. A hundred percent. I can't believe this 20 doesn't connect. That's so interesting. If you guys played the map before, you probably already know this. And you're probably like cringing like, why is he stacking down here? This is so dumb. I didn't know. I guess you can see the entryways on the connections, right? Pretty easy. This one didn't show one. It just looked like it connected. Huh. So I'm actually like a, a one, two, three point guard on my bonuses. No, he doesn't hit purple. So purple may also add to this one. Please trade big time on here and be breaker. It might trade here and hit the six. There's also a chance. I mean, this purple one, too, I also forgot about. Blue can't kill purple because of this one. I, I also missed that. <gasps> purple has no trade. I get 11 troops on my turn. He says attack pink. I can't attack pink. I'm, I, I am doing weird stuff with my stacks, by the way. And I can't really get a card. I know. So you guys might be like, just take the purple one, but I'm not feeding purple to blue. Just go here. Blue's also like, blue's asking me to hit people, but he's not doing a lot either, right? He knocks pink out of the right side, but so I like to do that kind of stuff too. Okay, pink is going to try to kill purple, maybe? Or he's just guarding. He's guarding, okay. So maybe a six on five happens. I guess pink didn't roll the six on five last turn, right? Or purple didn't? He knocks red out of there, but no uh, purple one. Okay, now the purple kill. Still very unlikely. I'd have to go through here with quite a lot. If purple actually rolls this 6v5, though, I can probably kill it. Because I get how many troops on my turn? Like 11, right? I do get 11 troops. Does that make a 16? All right, I make a 3 and a, like a 14. Oh, yes. Red hits blue? No. Okay, please purple roll the 6v5. And then actually succeed and get a fifth card for me. That'd be excellent. It probably won't. I don't think it'll do anything. Also, if it rolled this would be great, because then it opens my 27. I could go through, kill it, and then maybe ram dingle pink. I have to go through the 17, though. I have to bring this to here. 6v5, please! Damn it. That would have been sick. Um, I should take a card. I mean, I'll knock purple out now. It's already added six extra troops. That's a dude card. I have a big trade. I'm on 74 troops, by the way. So I've casually kind of got myself in the lead in troops. Pink's now going to kill purple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now pink's butting heads with blue. Yes. And he's on 69 troops, but he gets that trade. Because purple got knocked out of here. Blue owns both of these bonuses, actually. Attack blue. Please? Come on, send it on blue, not on me. Uh, he guards and stops, doesn't he? Oh, this is such an interesting game. Blue has two plus fives or something. Yeah, man, two plus fives is crazy. He has to hit something. Is he hit pink? No, he takes one card here and chills. Exactly. Exactly. Pink's card blocking me in here. Hmm. He doesn't want uh, my 37 to come out, right? 
Pink also now has a plus four with three twos. They're all going to be getting more troops than me, except for red, I guess. Red is a two, 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 like me, but more territories. No, oh, same territory. He says attack pink. You attack pink. It's attack pink bullshit. I would like you to also attack pink. I'm not taking a card. I'm zero carding with 98 troops. Pink may take this bonus, but I don't think he wants to open my 38. I think he's more like, I think they're going to card trade here and I'm going to get no cards stuck. Unless I can trade in here with pink. Looks like he's going to take the bonus. Loses five on my three is good. Doesn't want to open my 38. He's going to leave me kind of card blocked. I don't want to hit his six stack for a card, right? Makes a 40 there. There you go. Attack pink. You're first. Pink goes, you go, and then me, right? If we're hitting pink, you lead. Stops. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Can't trust blue for a second. Exactly. I knew that 100% at the start of the game. He's playing mind games. Attack pink and do nothing. But he doesn't want to hit pink. He doesn't want to do any of that. Right? He could have hit the 29 and sat here. Blocked pink and forced pink into me. He could have uh, broke pink here and then split his two stacks so the 29 doesn't get through. That's more risky, I guess. Hitting the 29 with your attack as advantage is probably the best of the, those scenarios. So they're just going to trade. Cool. I'll just start bringing my backwards troops up. I can zero card for a little bit. I am getting, what, um, 11 troops a turn. Pink gets 17 and cards. I'll just give Pink a thumbs up. Does he put the 57 in my face? I hope not. No, it leaves the 5 in my face. You attack blue. <laughs> We're all scumbags with the alliances right now. I would be willing to make a move, though. Could make a 60 here. It's not enough to get through pink now. Like, the thing is, pink is super guarding me, but not worried about blue. So, like, obviously blue and pink have a relationship in alliances, and blue's pretending that they don't. Yeah. I mean, the longer this goes, I mean, pink gets 18 now, blue's, uh, red's getting 10, I get 11, blue gets 14. But because I don't get cards, red's going to do better than me. This is actually the perfect moment for him to go through the 46, because I can go through the 59. We could kill him. Pink. Are you a person that wants to work with me, or are you just like this? Is this who you are? I bet you he stops. Yep, okay. I'm uh, actually just not even going to break pink. I'm going to be cool. Red's going to hit blue now? Nice. I th no, he's not. Okay. I think blue's going to be next to die. Even before red. We'll find out. But, uh, could happen. Then pink a heart and back more troops off into blue's face. <laughs> Attack blue. Uh, thumbs up. I mean, maybe pink will fight blue with me. Blue's not going to do shit. He's going to stack this. I mean, I, I could go through this if I get 11 troops. I come through. They're going to keep trading, though. I'm not too concerned with, with falling a little behind here. Red will not even really catch up that quickly. Yeah. 
Blue's not falling that far behind either. 14 to pink's. Well, pink's getting more than 18, right? He's getting 21 now. So you're getting seven troops a turn less than pink. And now he's also open this 1 0. He's open to being broken now. Red's not going to do it. He's going to hit the pink three. Okay. Very much thinking about um, attacking blue. Very much considering attacking you, blue. I the the the, the thing that's bothering me a little bit. So like my th I'm in this position specifically because I didn't know these didn't connect. So this is a learning experience, right? Your first look at a map, you're gonna make mistakes, of course, especially with connections and pathing and stuff. I made the mistake of not knowing this didn't connect. And maybe it, you can argue I should have known that, but I didn't know that. And because of that, I was positioning my troops in a way to do stuff. Uh, to st I was gonna stop pink before he got too strong. Like I, my whole game plan was based around being able to come through here in the bottom and, and destroy pink, right? And then try to take the left side of the board and then have blue and red and other but other people over here. And then I kind of own the left. That was my entire game plan. And the, and the turn or two where I, I was stuck, not able to do what I thought, it, that was the turn or two of uh, opportunity missed. That now has me in this position, right? So like, I'm not too angry that I'm in this position. I mean, I'm a little bummed about it, but like, I, I, I understand why I'm in this position. So it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I just wanted blue to sweat for a second. I wanted him to sweat. Blue is also finally blocking the pink 83 stack from getting a card. So if pink wants a card, he's got to hit this five. And I would love to see it. He gets 21 troops. He doesn't even need to trade to come in here. Card blocking pink's interesting for a play. Pink's on 217 troops. This is actually very interesting. This might be a higher skill lobby, by the way. Like I might be complaining how people are playing and stuff. Obviously I am my own independent person trying to win the game. So obviously other people doing things that's not good for me, I don't like. But uh, I actually think skill wise, this lobby is not bad. Yeah, blue gets broken because of this. Does he hit the 107 after? Oh my God, he does? I could open the 78 and back off so he can go into blue. Open it and then run into here. Oh, he's gonna... How hard does he go? One break and you full suicide? I mean, come on, bro. You, you're, you've you been trying to manipulate everybody with our alliances forever. You probably screwed up and forgot to move out of his way. Give red a thumbs up. You attack blue also. Yeah, yeah. Attack blue. Red better also hit blue. Yes. Does he keep committing or does he stop? I have troops ready to go both directions. I think pink fortifies down. How much of blue do I hit? Because I could one, two, three point guard this and try to take this plus five next. <laughs> blue, blue and pink are... Now I'm troop lead. Hey, I didn't take cards for a bit. I got trapped. I put myself in a bad spot because I didn't realize something and I misplayed. And it uh, doesn't matter. Just had to wait until uh, tensions brewed. And now look at us. Yeah, now black gets backstabbed because, yep, that happens. Now you're weak. Why wouldn't you get backstabbed, right? Good luck, he says. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if red knocks this out, I can come down here. Yeah. Blue's telling me to attack red. No, bro, I, I haven't trusted you the entire game for a reason. I'm going to actually come out to here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to trap blue in with pink. Split? Yeah, yeah. Blue only gets... Yeah, yeah. Don't break the rest. This is me. Okay. I actually kind of have to guard here or blue's going to break break, I think. No, blue. I, I No. You're not my friend. You and I could have done stuff earlier in the game. But you're not my friend. I got 
terrible dice on both of those rolls. That is horrendous. Dude, my dice are something special right now. Where our alliance is over? Of course it is. And blue can't. Now, blue doesn't have a trade. Blue starts with what? He gets a plus two. So he gets four. He gets six troops to come through seven v four into me. He's still here. So he could 7v4 and into me. So I'm going to go like this. So 7 on 4 probably doesn't get into me as well. 4-4 four, four matching with red looks good. Pink's going to come in and fortify back. Give him a thumbs up. I've never I've never shown aggression to pink ever since that 3 on 1. Yeah, blue's about to die to pink. Suicide's out. Yeah, good game. I'm in a position to double kill them. Now they don't have cards. Yeah, me and red are about even. Red's probably going to hit me now. Or he kills blue. Well played. Going to kill blue. Does he break me after he kills blue? Or does he double kill? Here's the other thing. If he doesn't kill pink also, it's going to be an interesting position. Like If either of us kills pink, we're going to lose to each other. Unless I can, like, I can't actually get through here without opening the 43. I don't get enough to come through the 25. I don't get trades from killing anybody. He's going to kill blue. Well played. I hope his timer runs out or he hits pink. I don't know. Killing pink for one card won't do anything for me. I've been good to pink. So if I send on red here, maybe pink uh, just comes out the bottom and leaves me alone. Because I do have to send on red. He stops. Where's that go? On my border. Huh. I can't kill red and pink together, right? They have 182 troops. I have 161. And also this stack. Yeah, the, so I can make an 85 here. Red is reasonably slow, though. Attack pink, yeah. I mean, I have to send on red or I lose. I can leave the 43 trapped, and he will come out with the 57. I have to do this. Our alliance is over. It has to be over, though. That's how this game works. Give Pink a thumbs up. Give Pink a thumbs up and a heart. Attack Red. I, I let Pink live. I could have literally killed him. I had the line on him. Red could have done, done the same thing. Please hit Red. No. Okay, okay. If, if he had a few cards, I would have too. Red's going to trade and hit me a lot now. I'm hopeful that my 60 survives. What did he start with? 13 and he gets a 12 trade. I, if I lose the 60, it sucks. But I do get to come off the 71. Red is also slow. Pink's actually going to get back in the game because Red and I are about to trade a lot of troops. Like, I could have killed Pink and then tried to fight Red in the 1v1, but I actually don't think I win that. Maybe I did. Maybe I would have. Because he's not fast. But he hits the 60 and we're in some trouble. Because I also have to hit a stack then. Yeah, he does. So now I actually just can't kill Pink. His 43 is trapped, though. So I do get to hold, what, two bonuses? Yeah, probably. He's too slow. Pink is completely back in the game. Interesting. He doesn't fortify the 43, so I leave it trapped. Do I actually kill Pink here? No, I, I won't win the 1v1 if I kill Pink.
No trade for me. I'm pointing at red still. Pink backstabs me? Are you fucking serious? Dude, I was good to you all game! Fuck, I should have killed him. I should have killed him. And went into the 1v1 with red, because red's slow. Red would have had a massive advantage over me, but he's slow. Well, if this 13 comes out, I can actually just kill pink now. I will just kill pink. I'll come off the 56 and kill pink. If this, if this 13 comes down to break the back, I will kill pink. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Pink's gone. And I, I just have to play 1v1 with red. And I'll lose the 1v1 probably. Almost 100%. But it is what it is. So, uh, fuck you, Pink. You get second place then. Or third place. Sorry. Not even second place. Unfortunate. I like this clean path to kill Pink, though. Pink fucked up. The only reason I let you live was to try to go first and second with me, and then you backstab me, and then, uh... I guess Red also was in his face and let him live? Like, I guess, so his plan was to go 1v1 with Red? And, and first and second with Red, but that's not gonna work. So he doesn't break all my bonuses, but most of them. Okay. How many do I need to kill Pink? I have, he has 61, I have this. Interesting. Let's see if I get good enough dice rolls. I get a great enough roll on this. Red is sad? The fuck do you mean you're sad, bro? How are you sad? Why is red sad? What is this? Red has no reason to be sad at me hitting pink. That's sus. That is 100% sus. I'm not opening his 43. Do I have a trade? I'll just kill pink right now. Yeah, I do. Red stack can't really hurt my 21. Pink's run runs for me. It doesn't matter. Good luck. Nice lucky trade on three. Why is red sad that pink is getting hit by me? He's spamming sad faces. Tell me that. I hosted this lobby. Much less likely to get collabers. But why is red sad that I'm hitting pink? Right? I, me hitting pink means red wins. Just wins. Why would you be sad about that? In what world would you ever be sad about me hitting pink here? I hope you're running out of time. Make this nice and easy for me. Pop, 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 pop. Straight line. I'll, I'll be happy with second. I'm okay with that. Should I, just in case, I think just in case I should report them for collab. Like, look, I'm not saying they're cheating. Maybe it's a 10% chance. Maybe it's a 50% chance. Maybe you guys are saying they are, they are because of the sad faces. But uh, the truth of the matter is, if they don't cheat, then this report does nothing. And it means nothing. But if they do cheat, that report will help other people in the future not run into them, right? So some people are like, how dare you report this guy when clearly he wasn't cheating? If he bots, that's funny, because then I can maybe 1v1 red, because red's slow. Right? Like, you shouldn't get mad if, if I report somebody, because if, if they're not cheating, the report means nothing. The system's designed where if you are suspected of somebody, you report them. I don't even think it's likely. I think that... I, I, I just... I can't understand why he would sad face when I full send into pink. That makes no sense why he would be spamming sad faces about that. This 43 finally comes out into my face or what? No, nope, still trapped. Okay. Well, I definitely need to make sure I kill pink. Let's put... Uh, resting. Do I have anything over here? No.
Yeah, I, 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 at this point, I don't care. Because what if Pink comes back? What if his little fake bot out thing is what he was doing, right? What if that's what was going on? Suck my ass, dude. All of it. Uh, now what do I do? There's like no world I can win this, but we're gonna try. Obviously that's a terrible idea. Well, 41 troops to 120, to 100 and, yeah, 120 to 41. I mean, we lose. <laughs> Let's be honest. But as soon as Pink backstabbed us, we were about to get third, right? I think that's something, recognize when you're, you're getting third and take second if you can, right? Some people end up in a three player end game. I, I've heard the stories. Where like, I'm in a three player end game and they teamed on me and I just fucking died. There's nothing I could do. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you see it coming and you know you're not going to get that first place because you're going to get third, do everything you can to secure second. Yeah, what was that? Come on, man. Come on, man. I could have just. Uh... Okay, now. The real. The real. MVP of this game is this stupid wall. I should have known, like, you can see the black wall doesn't connect, and everywhere else there's, like, a, a pat, a spot that connects it, right? This guy is so unbelievably slow. Holy moly. Um, yeah, so I could just do this. I mean, maybe, maybe we uh, run him around a bit. Because he's relatively slow. Boom! I haven't won a one-on-one -on -one manual dice roll in a long time. And I'm not just saying that just to say that. I I think I've in the last week I, I've done a bunch of 1v1 manual rolls. And I, I think I've lost every single one. It's been ridiculous. Alright, well, we're doing the best we can to play the uh 1v1 properly. We have cavalry trade. 29 to 120. The so this is unwinnable. Uh, unless he like loses connection or something, but or or like is just completely baffled by this. But uh, essentially, in a one v one, most important thing is break all of your opponent's bonuses. Secondarily, you want to kind of well, you, so break all their bonuses, but also trap their stack so it can't really run everything. And then alternative to that, if you can get a bonus that or or two bonuses that their stacks are trapped from and they can't really they have a difficult time breaking them. That can also benefit you, but bonuses should be like the last priority. First priority is break their bonuses and trap their, trap their stacks. Which this is this is too insurmountable, but like I think if we were in an end game where he had 120 troops and I had 85, I think I win. Because he's too slow and I will outplay him in the 1v1. He won't break all my bonuses and I'll keep breaking all his. I'll take all the territories. Like I, I think there's no no real chance for him there. All right, dude, we're, we're going to keep on uh, frustrating you. Because I'm a good boy like that. Take this bonus. Boom shakalaka, baby. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's okay. 120 to 29. We just had that. Hey, it's a repeat. Although I had to trade. Okay. Clean me up, daddy. Or dandy. Big ol' Red Clifford. Hey. I don't know if you, uh... I don't know if this was, a uh, like, a global thing, but... When I was growing up, there was a big red dog called Clifford. And this guy is Clifford the daddy, the big red dog. Got beat by my childhood book. I was going to say nemesis, but I didn't have a nemesis in a book. I don't even know what I'm saying. I Fill the time. Let's talk about something while I'm dying here. I mean, strategy-wise, I think I played pretty decent. Other like other than the major gap, what else could I have done? I maybe... Okay, may, I, okay. Probably I have a better chance of winning. Like, hindsight always is 20-20, right? But, like, I was... In a losing 1v1. We're not going to waste any more time. 
I was in a losing 1v1 if I did kill pink right away and go into the 1v1 with red. But that would have been closer to the 85 versus 110 thing. I think it would have been more like 60 versus 120. But it would have been a better 1v1 than I ended up going into after I finally killed pink. Also, of course, pink had a trade on three. If he didn't, I would have got to kill him for four cards. I would have spent like 10 less troops killing him. And I would have got 10 more troops. It would have given me 20 more troops to like start that 1v1 with red. Uh, it still would have been a major uphill battle, but it was much better chances, right? This guy's just slugging away on his phone right now to take these territories. So I don't want to strike the time any longer. It's a pretty good game. I had fun. First look at this map. I do enjoy it. It's a good one. All right, good game. Good game. If you were not collabing with Pink, then great game. Which I, I think most likely we're, we're fine. Normal game. But, uh... Dude, the, the sad face spam when I'm killing pink, very shocking, right? Like, it's very normal for pink and red to, like, team on me at that point, right? Red could have killed pink, stopped here, probably was in alliances, thumbs up, heart, backs off. I don't hit pink, thumbs up, heart, hit red, but he's like, I'm already committed to red. So, like, that makes sense to me. That makes sense. The red spamming... The sad faces doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. So double novice, double beginner, one intermediate, probably a reasonably fair game and a very fun one. Uh, I like that map. I actually really like that map. I'm going to try it out. You might see this map in round 12 of the Kill Pete Open, maybe six player game or something. We'll see. We'll see. To be tested. Thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.